Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Alex Hubbard and I'm a senior systems administrator with over 15 years of experience in the IT industry. Today, we're learning how to enable IP routing on a Cisco 2960S switch. If you have a Cisco 2960S switch running the universal iOS image by default, you will not be able to use the IP routing command. Now before we begin, the Cisco 2960S is not a true layer three switch. It's considered a layer two switch, or in some cases, a layer two plus switch. This means it will only do basic routing. Now for most of us in our lab, this is more than enough to get our feet wet. In order to enable IP routing, you will need to have at least iOS version 12.255 SE or later. Uh, we're gonna begin, we're gonna be using iOS version 15.2. In order to use the IP routing command on the Cisco 2960S, we need to change the SDM or the Switch Database Management Template. By default, it's using the default template, uh, and this does not allow for IP routing. We need to change it to use the LAN based routing template. Before we begin, let's verify a couple of things. Before we jump into our console session on our 2960S, let's take a look at a couple of things. I have two laptops set up here. I have a Windows 10 laptop and it has an ethernet cable over to a switch port on our 2960. And then I also have a, an Ubuntu laptop which is connected to a different switch port on our 2960. Each of these ports is assigned to a different VLAN. And what I want to show you right now with IP routing disabled or, or not enabled, these two should not be able to talk to each other. So the Windows 10 laptop is on VLAN 25 and that VLAN has an IP address of 192.168.25.1. The machine is assigned an IP address of, let me show you the IP config command here of 192.168.25.222. Additionally, my Ubuntu machine is on what I call VLAN 45, and that is assigned an IP address, oh, give me a second here, of 192.168.45.222. So if I issue the command ping 192.168.45.1, that's the IP address of the VLAN 45 on our switch, it should go. So you're getting responses and that's correct. If I issue the command ping 192.168, oops, I don't have my number locks turned on, 25.1, that's the IP address of our VLAN 25 or our Windows laptop the gateway for our Windows laptop. Now you can see I can ping it, and additionally if I come back over to my Windows laptop and ping the gateway of our VLAN 45, it does ping through. Um, that's because it's all, on, it's all on this one switch. But if we, it's essentially the same, you know, even though they're two different IPs, it's, it's essentially the same switch. So if we try to ping our Ubuntu host from our Windows host. So if I issue the command ping 192.168.45.222 and hit enter, you can see it's not going through. So you're not, this machine is not able to talk to this machine. If we come back over here, let's cancel out of this and do a ping of 192.168.25.222 or to our Windows machine and hit enter, you can see it cannot talk. Now there are no ACLs or access control list set up on this switch right now. What we need to do is go back to our screen recorder, let's jump into a putty session here, and look at the config on our 2960S switch. All right, let's launch our putty session here, and we are gonna use the serial option, and we're gonna select, select COM4 and hit enter. Make this bigger so you guys can see it. We'll hit enter a couple of times, we should get, there we go the command prompt, or the, uh, the switch prompt here. Type in EN for enable and hit enter. And now we're not at our enable prompt. The first thing that we need to do to verify this, uh, that the SDM template is the default, or well, the first thing we can do is type in show SDM prefer. You can see that right now the switch is using the default template. 
um, one additional check we can ver to use to verify that the IP that IP routing is not enabled is if we go into config mode. So if you type in C O N F T and hit enter, we're now in global config mode and type the command IP routing. You're going to see invalid input detected at marker. Um, this means you cannot use the IP routing command right now. So what we need to do is we need from the global config mode, we need to issue the command SDM prefer and you can use the tab key that helps quite a bit land base routing. Now we're going to hit enter. It's going to think for a second. It's going to tell you that the preference has been stored, but it's not going to take um, it's not going to take precedence until it's not going to take effect until you reload the switch. So let's exit out of global config mode and do a write mem. It's going to save the config. Now we can reload it. It's going to ask you, are you sure? Yes. Hit enter. And once the switch uh, reloads, we'll enter global config mode again and issue the IP routing command. Once we've issued the IP routing command, we should be able to go back over to our bench and ping across our VLANs to uh, each workstation. OK, now our switch has reloaded. Let's hit the enable command again and let's do a show SDM prefer. And now you can see the current template is LAN base dash routing. So cool. Let's go back into our global config mode by typing config T and hitting enter and we'll issue the command IP routing. You can see this time it took. Uh, it might tell you, not sure why it's telling you that there's an invalid SDM template, but uh, I have seen that in the past. So now if we go over to, if we jump back over to our bench, uh, we should be able to see, uh, we should be able to talk across the VLANs to both hosts. With IP routing enabled on our 2960S, if we open a command prompt on our Windows 10 machine, uh, which is on VLAN 25, we're going to be able to ping across to our Ubuntu machine, which is on VLAN 45. So let's ping across. So issue the command ping 192.168.45.222, which is the IP address of that machine, and hit enter. And you can see that it will issue, you know, it will respond with four successful pings. Additionally, if we come over here to our Ubuntu machine, I've got to change the timeout on this. It's much too short. And we go into our terminal. Oh, you can see I had the ping, the ping stayed running. So if I just do cancel here, because I tried that from before, um, and hit enter, you can see it'll continue, uh, it'll continue to ping. So that is how you enable routing on this Cisco 2960 switch. So now I have communication between these two VLANs and these two hosts. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe below. Uh, if there's something specific you want to see, let me know. Leave me a comment. Um, you can also check out my blog page, achubbard.com. Um, and thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more IT-related videos.